Fan Bam, it is finally here. This golden waffle Intel i9 12900K. Wait till you hear everything I had to go through to get this very process. How you doing, Fan Bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video, and I got something incredible for you to see. Intel's 12th gen i9 processor is finally here and it's about to really take on some serious competition and we're talking about AMD type of competition here. It's going to get fierce and this is exactly what we need it especially when it comes to the PC gaming world. This very processor right here is Intel's answer to AMD and will Intel be able to take back the gaming crown? Listen. I love AMD as much as you do, fan bam. In fact, that very workstation behind me, if you don't know, is run on AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X. There's a reason why we should not have any type of bias, especially when it comes to PC hardware. Just like what we did with AMD as we strayed away from Intel, and for a very good reason. We all know Intel really dropped the ball, especially on their 10th gen series. This is the very type of wake up call that Intel does need. Everybody called Intel on their BS and a proper solution really needed to be in place. Therefore, Intel ended up firing their old CEO and hence now we have Pat Gelsinger in place and we could all hope that he does right by Intel. So what did we get in result with Pat Gelsinger? We had some leaked results of Intel's i9-12900K going up against AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X. And man, it looked pretty impressive. Intel's i9-12900K has clock speeds up to 5.2 gigahertz. It has 16 cores, which goes up to 24 threads, which are two threads of P core, on top of E-Core. Intel's new 12900K does use a new socket and it's called LGA1700. Intel's 12th generation processors are quite lengthier than their traditional CPUs. Intel really does carry some power behind this very hybrid design. As it can power PCI Express 5.0 and it does power up brand new DDR5 RAM. But as we know with computer science, as you need more power out of a processor, you're gonna need more power and wattage. Intel's new CPU does require at least 240 watts of power compared to AMD's Ryzen 9 5950X, which is half of that. It only requires 120 watts. But before we go there, I do wanna share some benchmarks that I did see that I would love to share with you fam, man. Especially if you're thinking it's just a Windows 11 thing, it's really not. And these benchmarks I got from The Verge, yeah. So these numbers look pretty strong so far, right? So of course I got to do some of my own benchmarks here, fam bam, but we will do that together when we have this PC built. But you got to hear exactly how I got this processor in my hands in the very first place. So I had this bright idea, especially everything that's going on with the chip shortage. And we all know how well that's going. We've seen it with GPUs. So of course I naturally had fear. I went on Newegg, I went on Amazon, I went to all different types of websites in order to try to pre-order this very process. I was a little bit late, everybody was on it, I had to take it to the next level. So I came up with a plan. I saw how crazy it was on the internet, I saw how it just disappeared and how impossible it was to even purchase one of these processors online. So I came up with this really bright plan. So in order to get this processor i thought me and my wife can go over to micro center in order to get this processor but we should get there a little bit early before anyone else does because i'm thinking you'll probably have people that's going to camp there for at least a couple days in order to get their hands on this very cpu so i told my wife the plan she thought it was crazy and i told her you'll see how packed it is so 
me and her, we ended up waking up like about 2 a.m. We get ready. And by the time we get there, it's probably like close to 3 a.m. Once we arrived there, there was surprisingly not a soul there. So when we got there that early, my wife wanted to kill me because there was nobody there. I told her there was going to be a lot of people there and it's going to probably look like how it did on Black Friday. But man, either nobody was really excited for this release or it was because it was on a Thursday. There is a multitude of reasons why there was not a lot of people there. So it was about 6 a.m. by then when we started to see some activity. So there was a car that pulled up in the parking lot and then there was another car that pulled up in the parking lot a little bit later. About 7.30 a.m. everybody started getting out their cars. So I stood over in the line. The store didn't open till about 10 a.m. And we were just there talking about how we were excited. And you know what, fam? man? That's the best part about PC Master Race, the PC community. When you go up there, you get to talk to everybody about how excited you are for a brand new processor. Look, things like this can just make life just so much more excited. It sounds so crazy, it sounds so nerdy, but it's true. It's exciting when something like this comes out, new technology. So Micro Center was kind enough. It was pretty chilly out to let us in at 9 a.m. in order to purchase these very processes. So we didn't really have to wait too long outside. We only waited about like an hour and a half. They let us in and we were able to pick up these beautiful processes. So why am I not just building a PC just yet. Now, I was able to get the processor. And the reason why I can't just do this build just quite yet is because they did not have the motherboard that I was quite looking for just yet. The very motherboard that I do plan on getting for this very processor is Asus Z690 Maximum Hero. And they did not carry it in Micro Center. In fact, one guy was lucky enough who did arrive with us to pre-order it online. He pre-ordered it and of course they only sent one of those motherboards to our local micro center. And that's, I felt that's a bit ridiculous and I can't believe how lucky it was on that part. All I gotta say to that guy is congrats. That was, I can't believe how hard it is to purchase that very motherboard. So I was able to pre-order one and now we just have to wait for that to come in. And another thing I do have trouble getting is I do plan on getting a GPU for this very PC. Now that's also going to be a little bit of trouble getting too, because I'm in the same boat as you guys. I'm not able to purchase PC hardware as fast as some other guys are able to. But I am excited to have this very processor in hand. And I am excited to announce this very build to you, fam bam. And I hope you guys are excited too. I hope you found this content very entertaining. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone that is interested in taking a look at Intel's i9-12900K, make sure you share this very video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button so you're there when we do finally build this 12900K PC. Fan bam, guys, are you excited for the build or are you not really too excited? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.